Hey, it's your Boomer Consumer, and I'm very excited to share this unboxing with you. This is something I've been waiting on since last July when I pre-ordered it from the Microsoft Store. It is the TCA Officer Pack Airbus Edition. As a disclaimer, I paid for this with my own funds. No one's reviewed the video prior to posting. Yada, yada, yada. Um, these are in very serious short supply right now, and there's some price gouging going on. They sell for retail for $160. Uh, I was going to try to put an Amazon affiliate link up, but there are price gougers out there right now trying to charge like $450, so that's definitely out. However, I do have my B&H affiliate link up there, uh, or down there in the description. Um, they're sold out, but they're expecting a shipment in pretty soon. So if you are looking for something, a gift for yourself, if you're an armchair pilot or somebody you know and uh, that enjoys uh, flight simulators, this is going to be just a super, super gift. This is a replica of the flight stick and throttle a quadrant for the Airbus A320. Uh, so you can use these standalone. There's desk clamps for them. They're going to add more accessories. You can put it as part of a uh, cockpit setup. And that, so I just wanted to share this unboxing and uh, first look at this product. We'll go ahead and get her unboxed. Just really super excited. So let's see what we get here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Nothing super fancy. Get some paperwork. And that's all that comes in the box. So get rid of that. One of the cool things about this, you can configure the uh, flight stick to either be the pilot or the co-pilot. You can uh, remove part of the uh, flight stick and, and, and uh, you can change where those, uh, which side those uh, buttons go on to. And here we are. Let's take a look here. Each uh, component has its own USB cable. And there we go, the USB. Okay. And then another part, and again, the uh, flight stick is, can be configured for, it's ambidextrous. By default, it's set up to be on the left side because that's where the flight stick would be. And then you can uh, change the position of this button here that goes on the flight stick. Okay. And let's take a look at the flight stick itself and put this off to the side. That's stout. That's a little bit heavier than what I thought it would be. All wrapped in plastic, of course. If you watch my videos, you know that I really just tear this stuff up. Yep. They actually got this taped. Okay, we'll put that off this side. Wow. There we go. I'll cope with that in a little bit. I like the look of the stick. And one of the things, you know, you can set this up when you're on the ground steering the aircraft. Control pitch and yaw. I like the feeling on that. Of course, on a actual flight stick they wouldn't have this trigger button on here but that's all right it's your hat switch up here i think this is pre-configured for autopilot and then these buttons uh you get i think a total of 17 action buttons they are swappable and you can uh, set these up to do different things within flight simulator i think by default this is your uh, your throttle, but since you have the throttle quadrant, you can reconfigure this for like to be your landing gear up and down, etc. Very nice. It is plastic. It is plastic. But I definitely like the feel of this. 
So you can just set these buttons to do different things, whether it's, you know, landing lights, whatever. But I definitely, the Airbus blue color. So that is the flight stick. Thrustmaster does make really, really good stuff. I like the feel of it. And as I understand it, you can uh, change the tension on this. There's some screws on here that you can make it a little, a little bit more tense. Yeah, very nice. Let's set this off to the side. And then you have your throttle body or your throttle quadrant. There we go. Got some uh, some rubber feet on here. Now this feels actually a little lighter than what I thought it would. Now I don't have any desk clamps of any kind on there. Um, you can get those, but you have your start ignition start, your crank and all that for your engines, engine uh, one and two on and off. And then your throttles, as I understand it, this is the time recording this video, these have not been fully optimized yet for Flight Simulator 2020, so you have to do a little bit of fiddling. I'm not sure whether, oh, that's nice. I like the action on that. What happens if I, okay. Go down, but I'm not sure. And then you have your oh, I see that's for your thrust reversers. So, you know, when you're landing the aircraft, right, you want to <laughs> you want to come to a quicker stop, you lift these up, push down. And that basically puts the engines into reverse, slow you down. You got your like I said, you got your engines off and on switches, and then your uh, engine start. Your mode, norm, ignition, start, mode, norm, crank. And you got these two little, I'm not sure those light up or tell you anything yet. It feels pretty solid. And you've got little screws here on the side. And there's a, a screw here. And then there's adjustment on here. Because these feel pretty loose. Not, not exactly as... Uh, uh, exact simulation of an A320 throttle control, but you can adjust the tension on that to make it feel more accurate. And there's markers on here on your power settings. I'm super excited to get this set up with Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's just a very relaxing, enjoyable experience once you get everything set up. You get another bag of different screws because some of these are swappable. So I've got a lot to learn about these, no doubt. But this is something that's super popular right now, hard to get a hold of, but I think really adds that next level of realism to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. It does work with other flight sims as well, uh, but flight sim is the only one I'm really familiar with. So that's just what I wanted to share with you in this video. Hopefully, uh, if you know somebody and you want to get them a great gift, or if you want something like this for yourself, this is certainly going to be an awesome, awesome addition to really enhance Flight Simulator. Bruce Taylor, your Boomer Consumer, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.